Hi everyone, Michelle here from The Creative Cove and thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I wanted to show you a tutorial on how I start building up my papers. Um, I'm slowly building a collection of a botanical themed papers to print out to use for my journals. And I thought I might take you along on uh, how I build up my papers using uh, the Procreate program on the iPad Pro. Um, I'm slowly learning how to use this program myself, so I thought maybe we could learn together. And uh, I wanted to show you a couple of little, maybe um, different little videos on how I slowly build up the paper. So today we'll start with drawing some leaves. And as you can see, I've been practicing different leaves and playing with the program itself. And the more, um, more exposure I have to this program, the more I learn. So uh, let's get started on how to draw a uh, leaf here. And then the next video, I'll show you how to layer the leaf to build up a couple of different papers. So here's some paper I've been playing with. So I've drawn a, I drew a bumblebee and uh, I've drawn the leaf here and, and copied and pasted it a few times. So you can see how, how fun it is to um, build up these different papers. Uh, here's another one using the bee that I drew with a honeycomb background. So you can see you can use it for any themed paper that uh, that a journal you might wanna build based on a theme itself. You can really zoom in and do different ones. Here's a one I did with teapots because I'd like to do an English garden, uh, tea, in the, tea in the garden type journal. But anyways, let's, uh, let's uh, start here. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign and I'm gonna pick a um, paper that is 11 by 8.5, which is the standard size printing paper on most printers at home. And I'm gonna, you can see you can manipulate it here. And I'm just gonna turn it sideways so it's a bit easier for me to draw. Here's my color palette. So I'm gonna click on the color palette and right now I'm on a bright, bright green. I wanna slide that down to a dark green. Then I'm gonna hit on the paintbrush icon and I'm gonna pick my paintbrush that I like to use. So I like inking and it's an un untitled brush. It's just a standard um, type smooth uh, brush, but you can pick anything you like. There's also the drawing tools, but we're gonna go with inking today. And I'm gonna go over here and this is my size. So you can see it, it gets big and it gets small. So we're gonna go with pretty small, like a, like a, pe like a pencil. I'm also using the um, iPad pencil. I find to create details in this paper, you are gonna need the pencil. Uh, your finger can only get into so much little detail, so you really do need this tool in order to create fine details. So let's, uh, let's draw here. So I'm gonna start with a line, just a squiggly line. And at the top of that line, I'm gonna do a petal, well, a leaf shape, let's say. And I'm gonna draw, touch on this Oops, too hard, it took me back to the other color. I'm gonna drag that color into there and it's gonna fill that, that shape. Now, if I drew the shape and I didn't close the shape, it's gonna fill my entire page. So you do wanna, you're gonna hit the undo button. So you do wanna make sure that you close the shape off so that that fills. And that saves you a lot of time when it comes to coloring. And even if your drawing is a little bit wonky right now, see, that one wasn't closed. Even if your drawing isn't wonky, is wonky like mine, because normally I would move the iPad or move the picture so that my wrist could draw a little bit neater. But we're gonna we're gonna tidy all that up after anyway, so it's not a big concern right now. I'm just gonna keep filling in, doing some nice leaves here. Okay. Make sure that's closed. So now I'm gonna go into the color wheel again. I'm gonna tap on it and I'm gonna slide it up to a lighter green. And it's gonna remember the colors that you've used in this little history box. So you don't have to worry too much about losing these colors. So I'm gonna now go into uh, my brush. I'm gonna keep the same brush, but I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see better. And I'm just gonna throw this color in. We're gonna use the blending tool today, which is, uh, I've done a, a one other video on how to build some of your own digital paper. And we didn't use the smudging tool. I can link that video below um, 
but we didn't use the smudging tool on that, so we're gonna try it today. I'm gonna go back into my color wheel, and I'm gonna pick a medium green. So I'm gonna slide it between the bright green and the dark green that I used, and I have this nice medium green. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of this in here. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way. So now I'm gonna hit the smudge tool. So this is the smudge, well, I call it a smudge tool. I don't know what the, what the name is. And I go to airbrushing and then I hit soft brush. And then I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna make sure it's not too big. I'm gonna slide it down a little bit. And I'm just gonna now rub the colors together and you can see how they blend. And I like this technique. I'm sure there's a much easier way of doing this uh, for those who are very familiar with Procreate. But I really like this, uh, this technique because I feel like I'm actually coloring. I feel like I have a little bit more control. I like to uh, blend the colors. I do, I feel like I'm using crayons, which is kind of fun. What's nice about this program though, is if you screw up, you just hit the undo button which is always wonderful to undo like that. If you find the smudging is taking a little too long, you can make it a little bit bigger so it blends faster. I'm just gonna blend this here. It's pretty dark out, so I hope, I have the light on, so I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I've got a overcast today. All right, smudge that out. And like I said, don't worry about the, the ends of the lines yet because we're gonna clean that up. Right now, we just wanna build a little bit of uh, value within this color green. So we have a little indication of maybe some shading and some variegated elements on these leaves. So I'm gonna brighten this one up a little bit. So I'm gonna go back into my color wheel and I'm gonna hit that green down here I'm going to throw a little bit in. Let's see if I need it anywhere else. Maybe a little bit here. And now I'm going to go back to my smudging tool. I'm just going to blend that in. Oops. I thought I turned my notifications off, but I guess I didn't. All right. I think I'm going to go back into the dark green and add just a little bit more in some areas. So you can see it comes together pretty fast. Go back to the smudging tool, smudge that out. I'm addicted to this program. I have so much fun with it. Nobody messaged me all day and then when I start a video, everybody wants to text. <laughs> all right, so there we go. So now I wanna add a little bit of interest into my stem here. So I'm gonna take that dark green that I'm already on and I'm just gonna go a little bit smaller on the side and I'm going to just fill this out a little bit more. A little bit thicker. Make sure my leaves are attached. Slide that in like that. And again, don't worry about it being perfect. We're going to uh, clean the edges up. I'm going to give my stem a little bit of a highlight. So I'm going to go back into the green, the light green. I'm just going to add a little bit of that coming down. And then I'm going to go into my smudge tool. Go really narrow on the smudge tool and just soften, soften that stem. Okay, so now I'm going to clean it up. So I'm gonna go into my eraser icon. I'm gonna make sure it's not too big and slide it down a little bit. And you can pick the style eraser. So I'm gonna just stick to the airbrush soft brush. Um, actually, I might change it to the inking. Let's go to inking and the untitled brush just to make sure I get a nice clean edge. I'm gonna build it up a little bit bigger. So now I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna blow, blow this up so you can see. I'm gonna take my eraser and really clean up the edges now. 
And this is fun because you can really define the shape of the leaf. So you can, you know, make it curved like this if you want. You can do anything you want. You have a spiky edge. But we're basically just cleaning it up. Anything we went outside the lines, we'll fix. And like I said, the more you use this program, the more you're exposed to all the different options it has and you'll slowly build up your favorite brushes and things like that. So I'm just gonna go a little bit smaller so I can get right into here. And clean up this edge now. Nice clean edges. I'm gonna keep my hand out of the way. And just tidy it right up. And that's a nice thing you can zoom right in. it up. Clean up this edge here a little bit. So it'd be really hard to do with your finger, this kind of detail. So you, that's why I do recommend the pencil. Okay, so there's our little leaf there. So now I'm just going to give it a little bit more detail. So I'm going to go back into my color wheel and I'm going to go into a really bright, bright green. So I'm going to slide the color wheel over. It's kind of a, a white, um, a very minty green. I'm going to go back into my pencil. I've got my inking on still and I'm going to drag it right down real small. So I'm going to put a little bit of veining in my leaf. So I'm just going to do light touch on the pencil and I'm going to just give myself some veins. So this is, uh, like I said, I've been practicing playing with different techniques and stuff, and this is the one that I like the best when I draw my leaves. And uh, if you have the time to just play and practice on this program, you're gonna find what tools you like the best. So this is just one way of doing it. There's all kinds of ways. You can use um, the layers here, the layers button. And uh, it gives you uh, different options on how to build details on this without using all that eraser. But I like to, like I said, I like that, the feel of me actually feeling like I'm coloring. I like that idea. So there, there's some veining. We're gonna just maybe put a little bit of veining through the through here as well. Some little details. And uh, we're just gonna build it up like this. And there we go. So there's our leaf. So today I'll show you how we can cut and copy and paste it. And then the next video, I'll show you how to layer, we'll do another drawing, maybe a bumblebee or a different leaf and, um, or dragonfly, I'd like to try a dragonfly. And uh, we'll copy and paste it and we'll show you different techniques of how to layer these um, images. So I'm gonna take a, um, what am I looking for here? This little S, I don't know what it means, but it's a, I hit the free hand at the bottom and then I just draw around it like this. And then I use three fingers and I hit copy, three fingers drag down again and paste. And now I have a duplicate. So what I like to do is I like to, whoops, I like to take my pencil and I like to spin it around and move it to different places. 
So I do three fingers down, copy. Oh, what did I do there? I don't know what I, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, don't know why that happened. Okay, sorry, let's do that again. Copy and then paste. <laughs> what I did. Oh well, so we're gonna manipulate this and move it over and then we'll leave it there. I must have not hit the, I hit the arrow button and it deselects it. Maybe I missed, maybe I missed that step. Three fingers down, copy, paste. There it is again, slide it over. Use the little green button here to spin it. You can also hit the vertical flip, the horizontal flip. So there's all kinds of rotations you can do. And I'm gonna drop one there. And then I'm gonna hit my little arrow button to deselect it. Now three fingers down, copy, three fingers down, paste. And I'm gonna move this one, say, uh, let's do a different direction, something like that, maybe. Three, th oh, sorry, deselect, copy, paste. Let's do one over here. Okay, so now I wanna, so see how it 